When we knew what we had to work with our to do, it's not a blessing, it brings confusion. But I thank God that from 1960, the 11th of September, I've been in this country. I got saved 1958, April. I was 18 years of age in Jamaica. And I did ask to be a choir director. And I was placed as a singer and a choir director of the church. And I did that. And I look at the hand of God and when you ask to do something, if God put it in the mind of someone, yeah that you have the ability to do something. Yeah. And when you ask to do it and give your ability back to God, God will confirm yeah. that ability yeah. with signs for it. Praise the Lord. Yeah. I'm not a person that creates signs, no. but I've seen a lot of signs confirming yeah. the Word, not our language, but the Word of God. This is a tremendous blessing. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, our convention has been a great blessing. Yes, amen. And again, God bless you. The wife of our oversight minister, Pastor Scott. Yes. Sister Scott. Yes. The wife of the oversight minister. Yes. Bless the Lord. Yes. And I believe a lot of respect should be shown to the head yes, of our church. Yes, yes. And God bless you. God bless you. I noticed that you choose your place in a good position. And you choose every night to introduce the preachers yes. that have been allotted for this conference. Yes. And I want to give God thanks that the example you set is a very good one. Yes. And may God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. I do not stand to try to show that I know more than anyone. No, sir. No. Because it is not good for none of us to know anything. Nothing. But if we give ourselves to God, yes. He will help us to know oh. what we are supposed to know yes. and what we know. When he teaches us what he wants us to know, we should actually practice what it shows, what we did know, that we can be built up. I think the Bible said we are edified. So edification is that we will be built up by God, but you can't build yourself. When a person builds themselves up, what they do is try to impress and outdo others. And it is a very sad thing that our church that has been handed down by Jesus Christ to fulfill the promise, the prophecies that were given to Abraham. The Gentile churches and the other Gentile. We still have got a lot of our old habits of looking to take the Lordship one over the other. That's right. And the scripture teaches that we should not. We should not. Yes. Scripture teaches yes. we should not be Lord one over the hell. For there is only one Lord. Only one. There is only one Lord. That's right. There is only one Lord. That's right. I can say it again. There is only one Lord. There is only one Lord. That's right. That is over all. And there is only one Spirit. Yes.
minister of the church, but she actually called me and said to me, Oh, Stedders, would you like you to open and close? Yeah. And um, I said to her, Okay. And I didn't ever go to place to put down the topic. No. I didn't actually tell her what topic I would like to preach. No. But I said I will give myself over yes. to request. I believe that was done by Pastor Scott. Thank you. Thank you. I am assuming. Yes. And she can tell me no, it's not Pastor Scott. But I believe Pastor Scott would have known. Yes, as the oversight minister yes, yes. of the church, yes. the topic yes. for the convention, yes. because it is the head of the church yes. that instruct the church. Yes. Members do not instruct ministers. No. <laughs> ministers are called by God. Yes. And they are instructed by God. Yes. And they instruct members our officers are not submissive yes. to the instruction of God that God gives them. You. you may hear something different <laughs> as so far claiming to be a minister. Yes. But it is the minister that God speaks to. Amen. I, I know it's very hard because we don't see that. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Sometimes to make a 
He was preaching from one of the counsels that Jesus gave to the disciples about Saul. Jesus said that we are supposed to be the salt of the earth. And said, if the salt had lost its faith, therefore it is good for nothing. And should be, should be trodden on the feet of men. And this preacher, great preacher, that is looking for the great preacher, said that you can have too much salt because when you have too much salt, you run, we run out of knowledge because of too much salt. And what he described was this. He said he don't believe in abortion.
Oh, 